you're watching a full Metal HD production. Enjoy. Classes, public speaking, logistics go. How did I fail it? I don't know. Take deep breaths, practice speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice every corner of the room. Okay, is this 100 yet? Yeah, boy! Study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. Learn to calculate how effective military position strength wanes over distance from a home position as it is. It becomes more difficult to put pieces in play. Learn to de delay the advance of invading force by disrupting the transportation and communications. You have nothing more to learn about logistics. I have unpleasant news to report. Titus, the Duke of Sydney has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions on a thin border. Business is disrupted and there's a lot of growing shortage of supplies. Sent emergency aid. The Royal Treasury will pay to keep the people fed very well. I know what I'm doing. Mine's one cheerful. What? Why did it make me sad? I thought it got rid of your anger. I don't know. Oh, yielding. Hey, that's how we get rid of willful. Huh, gotta look into that. Alright, naval strategy and public speaking. Seems right. Oh. You, mem you memorize a list of sonnets and rec recite them for your teacher in any castle left, she can run up to serve as an audience. <sighs> Stupid. Damn! Went up 28. You learn about the challenges of naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. Learn about the use of ships and transporting goods so soldiers between locations. You study the coast, time, and materials required to construct new ships. My lady, there are letters for you. Thanks, Elise. Another letter from Brony? Why does she keep biting me? We never, we are we're never even friends. She says she's born lonely. She's looking at forward to me at Gwenol's birthday party. That's right, Gwen Ellie is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess Subbury for real now. The letter it must be the invitation to her party. Our friends at school and it'll be a big event. It's also a long way to travel. A lot of things happen on the road. Huh. I'm gonna send my regards. I better stay here. I don't want to do anything that will make me, like, die. So, yeah. Let's attend court. Seeing the court session is not fun at all, but please use your father may be important to your future. Heh, <laughs> whatever. Oh, I am pissed. I'm so pressured. Holy shit. I need to get lonely. That's stupid to say, but it's true. Uh, I save? No, no, no. How do I save? Menu. Name your save. YOLO 2. Overwrite. Alright, return. Just in case something bad happens. Okay, naval strategy's almost up. Ah, oh, this is going down. Fucking stupid. Let me penalize for that. I sh should I do this shit? Do I want to, though? I don't really care about magic stuff. I mean, it's I. It's okay. It's decent. But whatever. Classes. Right? My work on naval strategy and public speaking still. Okay. Naval strategy, public speaking, go. The teacher asks you a question about made up nonsense, pushing your improvised answers smoothly and swiftly without having to worry about them being correct. Okay, you study blockades, both setting them and break. Oh my god, so close. No! No! Uh, I clicked. Sigh. All my friends are. Alright, when I was partying, I didn't get to go. I saw going all the same, I couldn't come, but his her mother is kind of sweet pride. I don't care. I think she saw that I didn't consider the event poor enough to intend. I don't. Does it look like I care, girl? I need to get lonely. Uh. There. Walk in and forget your burdens on the shoulder. Ah. There we go. I'm back to my old self. Naval strategy really isn't 100, so. Stop trying to be fake to me. Read a collection of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in conversational and dramatic fashion. But she's now 50. Sweet. So you probably sneak attack on advantage way that can be achieved. No, you know nothing more about naval strategy. The Dutch of Lilith has sent a gift to you. What is? What's this? It's a cushion finally embarked to the sign of running horse. 
It's well done clear required hours and hours in the work, but it's also fairly useless. That's nice, I guess. Uh four I'll keep it. Find a chair or sofa to set it on. I ain't a bitch, so you know. Alright, I can get willful down now. So I need yielding. Maybe some lonely. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yielding, yielding. There we go. You spend the weekend hold up your room with your favorite toys, Charlotte, but you feel better. Who does enjoy a good play with toys once in a while? Alright. I'm really happy. I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yes, it's getting a boost. Oh, this is getting a boost too, but I don't care about it. <laughs> court manners and flattery. Uh, court manners, flattery. You, you reveal the correct greetings for your guests according to the rank, and when you extend your hand to each other, all nobles expect their due honors. <laughs> I'm the fucking princess. You learn that it's important to make eye contact and say nice things about someone. Cool. <clears throat> the Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Hello, Elodie. I'm sorry to trouble you, but. Have you seen Baroni? Not since I left school. She shakes her head. She's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she's not happy, but I never expected. She wrote me a letter saying that she was bored and looking for venture, but that's all I know. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish. My poor little lamb. I have to go look for her. Uh, sucks for you, woman. Keep an eye on your child next time. Stupid. Christ. Let's play the toys again. You know. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm like, ha <laughs> ha. Yay! Let's keep the same shit going. Bonus cheerful. Let's go. As a person of the highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission. And no one must ever turn their back to you. Oh shit, really? If you study the rules for formal dining, include them proper utensils for different dishes. As a queen, no one will comment your mistakes, but they will notice them. Oh damn. I didn't even think about that shit. Learn that flattering comments are best impact. When kept short, gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it's always better to compliment people on their physical, on their f personality. Why the fuck did I say physical? And their choices and their physique attributes. And their choices than their. Okay. Ooh, a new outfit. So you walk into the Great Hall, freakish gustily sunny blows all the cams on the room. How strange. There must be an open window somewhere. Okay, what is. What. I don't understand. Alright, just be cheerful. Fuck it. I'm super happy. This one is keep. I guess I have to do that somehow, right? Because it keeps like. that. This word keeps popping up. Divination. Don't know what you mean. Oh, I forgot to check my outfit. Is this almost 50? Why'd it go above 50? I don't know. Study the traditions of ballroom equit. Echo with it, and how to politely accept an nine offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. You memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle, treat each servant with respect, and ensure good services. A uh, Visual elements are the best to flatter on the first meeting. They're expected to be noticed right away. If you spent more time with someone, suddenly come with their attire will be ring false. Small personal details help make the receptant of your flattery feel more they have truly noticed it, which is always rather simple. How nice you look. Okay, makes sense. These have been so and so lately. Everyone's on the edge. We need something cheerful. We sold the tournament. What a good idea. Knights, jousting, magician, all sorts of competition. Everyone loves the contest. What we offer is the prize of the winner. Hmm. Status and praise, employment. Gold. Purse of gold for the champions. Very well. I'll draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eyes fall upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not giving enough water. Leaves on the blossom are shriveled. Someone in this hall is lazy, and these flowers should be replaced. Continue upstairs to room, where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, the gift arrived from Kegel. From the Duke? No, my lady, a merchant horse, I believe. It was sent from a shipment down the river. You tear open the brightly colored to find... Chocolates! A little car box with our comp protection... With our compliments, the horse of Kakalot. You pop one of the chocolates in your mouth. What the fuck? Mmm, delicious. They're poisoned, right? Suddenly you feel very cold. The world seems darker, colors less bright. You worry that you perhaps shouldn't have eaten so much candy and tried to ignore the feelings of illness. Unfortunately, it's more than just upset telling you. By the time you realize you've been poisoned, it's too... Really? 
Really? Will he not survive to reach your coronation? No, we'll have to go on without her. It doesn't have to end like this. Make sure different choices, train different skills, and the Lily Shaw may rise again. Really? I really just fucking died. <laughs>